tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. An accomplished wizard once lived on the top floor of a tenement house and passed his time in thoughtful study and studious thought. What he didn't know about wizardry was hardly worth knowing, for he possessed all the books and recipes of all the wizards who had lived before him, and moreover, he had invented several wizardments himself. This admirable person would have been completely happy, but for the numerous interruptions to his studies caused by folk who came to consult him about their troubles, in which he was not interested. By the loud knocks of the Iceman, the Milkman, the Big or to try and sell him their wares. Just when he was most deeply interested in his books, or engaged in watching the bubbling of a cauldron, there would come a knock on his door, that, after sending the intruder away, he always found he had lost his train of thought or ruined his compound. At length, these interruptions aroused his anger, and he decided he must have a dog to keep people away from his door. He didn't know where to find a dog, but in the next room lived a poor glass blower with whom he had a slight acquaintance. So he went to the man's apartment and asked, Where can I find a dog? What sort of dog? inquired the glass blower. A good dog, one that will bark at people and drive them away, one that will be no trouble to keep and won't expect to be fed, one that has no fleas and is neat in his habits, one that will obey me when I speak to him. In short, a good dog, said the wizard. Such a dog is hard to find, returned the glass blower, who was busy making a blue glass flower pot with a pink glass rose bush on it, having green glass leaves and yellow glass roses. The wizard watched him thoughtfully. Why can you not blow me a dog out of glass, he asked presently. I can, said the glass blower, but it would not bark at people, you know. Oh, I'll fix that easily enough, replied the other. If I could not make a glass dog bark, I would be a mighty poor wizard. Very well. If you can use a glass dog, I would be pleased to blow one for you. Only, you must pay me for my work. Certainly, said the wizard. But I have none of that horrid stuff you call money. You must take some of my wares in exchange. The glass blower considered this matter for a moment. Could you give me something to cure my rheumatoidism? He asked. Oh, yes, easily. Then it's a bargain. I'll start the dog at once. What color of glass shall I use? Pink is a pretty color, said the wizard. And it's unusual for a dog, isn't it? Very, said the glass blower. But it shall be pink. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next Evil Idol. In the meantime, turn off the lights and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights